Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with an old video. I am reposting this video because this event already took place at this time. It happened in Emporium Mall right here in Lahore. It was the event called the Trick Eye Museum. We have a lot of things to see and a lot of things to talk about so let's get started. Guess where I am? Yes, Emporium Mall. Let's go in. This is the Trick Eye Museum. Get ready to let your imagination run wild in the museum. The Trick Eye Museum introduces augmented reality features to its exhibits. The AR features will bring its art installations and paintings to life. Forget about ordinary 3D exhibits in the museum. With Trick Eye Museum's very own augmented reality technology implemented onto the installations, you can be immersed with the thrilling sound, lights, and other effects that create realistic illusions. This isn't your average museum where you simply look at the paintings on display, visitors here interact with them. All of these exhibits are based on science, mathematics, biology, and psychology. The idea is to teach visitors about perception, vision, and the human brain, and why our eyes see things that our brain does not understand. Okay, here it's written that if you want to go shopping for inside, it's about 3,000 rupees. Or if you want to buy a ticket for 300 rupees, it's about 300 rupees. Okay, Carrefour's shopping is not available in this way, because we have to do something like that. Okay, enjoy it. Okay, enjoy it. So as soon as you enter, you are greeted with optical illusion. Yes, bewildering images which play tricks on you, thus confuse your eyes and brain. These visual illusions are just a reminder that our senses are imperfect and our perception of the world is often distorted. This ordinary space has been turned into a hypnotic optical illusion with repeating lines. These lines mold architecture into surreal environments for us spectators. With snaking lines that almost appear as pipes, this becomes a dynamic space that invites visitors to immerse themselves and be part of the art. Playing with optical illusions, the kinetic movements of lines and concepts of minimalism, you are standing in the picture and the work can be experienced physically. Let's step into an illusion of infinite space. Or is it? Well, infinity may be a difficult concept to grasp, but it is easy to contemplate when you step inside an infinity room. A room is completely covered with mirrors and dozens of LED lights hang from the ceiling. As the multitude of lights reflect, they accumulate and expand exponentially. Immerse yourself in this kaleidoscopic environment where you will be endlessly reflected within fantastic ethereal landscape. Have you any idea where fun and wonder never end? Well, in the infinity room, the room of mirrors, mirrors at full height are installed all around creating an optical illusion of infinite space. This is by far the most mesmerizing room to be in. I cannot bring myself to detach from this room. The twinkling lights in this mirrored abyss are breathtaking at any angle. This is a multi-sensory experience you will never forget. So a Japanese artist by the name of Yaoi Kasuma is the artist who introduced this concept to us when she produced Infinity Mirror Room exhibit. Okay, we exit from here. There's another door. Want to defy gravity or maybe bounce off walls? You don't have to go quite as far as the moon. You can just do that in this room. The rotated room with furniture and accessories attached to the ceiling makes everything appear upside down. This makes for great photos as everyone appears stuck to the ceiling, which is actually the floor. The rotated room allows visitors to defy gravity once the image taken in the room is rotated. In this feature, you can choose how to defy gravity, challenge size, and bend the laws of physics. Every pose in the room will showcase your Spider-Man abilities. Here's a look at mine. Are you ready to radically change your view of the world? How about for 180 degrees? Have photos of incredible poses taken? Your imagination is the limit. I experimented with many poses here and it was quite the challenge as it needs to look convincing when it's upside down. Plus it was so crowded I did not stay here long enough to fully enjoy this exhibit. Now we're exiting the rotated room onto the next exhibit. Enjoy the interactive hungry shark. Oof. Push. Let's immerse in the breathtaking layers of the ocean as a diver and let us experience the incredible marine life all around us. We are encountering a hungry shark and the best thing is you don't even have to get wet. Using technology as a way to experience animals in a more natural, less captivity focused way. Don't take my finger off! Ah! Nice shark, good shark. The 
optical illusion represented by two turntables, which, when turning, make a true hypnotic illusion. The round shape of an object will associate visitors on the turntable and suggest to spin. Turntables have patterns which create different hypnotic illusions while in motion. You are feeling sleepy. Don't stare into this. Experience the dazzling feeling of the moving illusions of the turntable. Stare at the right circle for 15 seconds and then look towards the framed image on the right to have a unique experience. Focus on the left circle to be fascinated by the 3D effect of the illusion. <laughs> Even the exhaust fan is all black and white. Yeah. In this stationary image, viewers should see the circles rotating in different directions. The effect is particularly pronounced when the viewer's eyes move or blink. Despite the swirling and twirling you think you see, this is a completely still image. It's an example of peripheral drift illusion, which refers to any optical illusion that our brains perceive as moving, but in reality is still. Psychedelic room. It is cloaks. Take a cloak from the hangers and stand in front of the pattern to become merged with the background. Try not to step on the fabric of the cloak. Okay. So yeah, if you wear this, yeah, if you wear this and you stand against this background, You'll be like a part of the background. So this is background one before cloak, after the cloak. Well, in my case, after photoshopping. This is background number two before cloak and after cloak. So this is head on a plate. Go through the path to get under the table and position yourself comfortably by taking your head out of the hole. Stand on the camera sign to get the best perspective so that it feels like the gorilla is attacking the table on which your head is placed. Have you always wanted somebody's head on a tray? No? Just your own then? Well, it's time to make your wish come true. Experience the illusion of a hidden body. Nobody involved will be hurt. Everybody will have fun. Puppet hand illusion. Stand under the hand and position yourself according to the strings to look like as if you've become a puppet being controlled by the hand. The last part of the exhibit, which is the glow-in-the-dark world. Find yourself enchanted by the magnificence of this magical forest as you walk through glowing trees and mushrooms. Hey, bol bol Let us step into an interactive phosphorescent landscape that concludes our adventure into the world of illusion. This room is filled with the glow-in-the-dark objects, sculptures. This part has artwork integrated with glow-in-the-dark effect into the painting, making it unique. If you love everything Avatar related, then Tropical Pandora, The Forbidden Land, will entice you. This following masterpiece will journey you through a magnificent journey that closely resembles the Pandora in Avatar. So now we know that the name Trick Eye comes from the shortened form of the term Trick of the Eye and refers to an art technique that turns two-dimensional paintings into three-dimensional images through the use of optical illusions. Through the use of optical illusions, two-dimensional paintings on the surfaces of the museum walls, floors and ceilings come alive. The technique in visual art that fools or tricks the eye by creating the optical illusion is commonly known as trompe l'oeil. It is defined as visual illusion in art, especially as used to trick the eye into perceiving a painted detail as a three-dimensional object. The technique uses perspective and specific shading techniques to create the illusion Then 2D images are actually 3D, making them seem like they're popping out of the painting into real life. The museum offers various themed galleries where visitors are invited to take part and are more than welcome to explore with the eyes, hands, and cameras too. Step inside the paintings and complete a visual narrative with your creative pose. Through the lens of your camera, a surprisingly tricky story will unfold. Make unforgettable memories at the Trick Eye Museum with your friends and family and be ready for fun and laughter, all with a dose of education and culture. Best time ever! So everyone, this is like the last stop in this trick of the eye museum so that's the exit let's go to the exit when we go to the exit what happens it's back to reality yay so everyone if you really enjoyed watching this video please don't forget to like subscribe Press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post. Leave a constructive comment and share this video. I'll really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah Hafiz. Bye.
Jessica Khair, thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out.